Hey everybody, welcome back to Venom Central. I'm going to do a little video today about administering antibiotics to a snake. Uh, just certain things you need to do to keep your animals healthy if you have an animal fall ill. And with venomous animals, of course there's a lot of vets that are not going to work on them. And I don't blame them. <laughs> and, but here's the thing, so we have to learn how to do stuff ourselves. And it's a skill set. So through the years that I've been doing this, I've learned quite a bit. And I've been doing this 35 years and I've never suffered a bite. I do everything the safest possible way that I can possibly do it. Um, what gave me this idea was my wife. I have been administering an antibiotic to one of my rattlesnakes that got injured during breeding. So I gave him a shot already this morning and she's like, that would be a perfect content for a video. People would want to know that kind of stuff, how you do this. So, I'm going to go through it again. Of course, I'm not going to administer the antibiotic again. It's not for another 72 hours. But, I'm just going to show you how I do it safely. But first, I want to talk about a nebulizer. Now, a nebulizer, it's a little, it's a little machine that, you know, people use to use an inhaling. And, I use it to anesthetize my snakes. Especially the venomous snakes. If I'm working on a venomous snake that needs something, medical attention, I knock them out. I put them asleep. It is way easier, way safer. It's better for the animal. It's definitely better for me. I'm not getting bit trying to hold an animal, neck an animal, or strain it while I'm removing an abscess or, or a whatever. It's just better for the animal and it's safer for me. Now, the nebulizer works. It's basically just a little air pump that mystifies a solution. And I put it to an airtight tub. And the little nebulizer, it's an air pump, you turn it on, it's electrical, of course. I'll fill the little cup here with an anesthesia. It's, um, now, isofluorine is a really good one. Um, I'm using Cephflow now. It's a little bit stronger, it works a little bit quicker. Um, you fill this little cup, animal goes inside, hit on. This will blow a nice fine mist for the animal to inhale. After... Eight, ten minutes, that animal is rendered unconscious. It's asleep. And it'll keep that animal off for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I've got several different size tubs according to the several different size animals that I work with. And once the animal is knocked out, I can safely work with that animal. Now, mind you, I still treat that animal like it is wide awake and ready to kill. I still restrain the animal properly, but what this does is it gives me the chance and the time to work on the animal safely. It knocks the animal out, so it knocks that stress down. I mean, necking a big snake, holding it down, cutting on it, doing things, giving it shots, that's stressful on that animal. And I've seen so many people kill their animals trying to, trying to save them and actually killing the animal themselves, trying to, I mean, doing the right thing by the animal, actually going, okay, the animal's sick, it's got an abscess, it needs to be removed, it's got this, it's got that. But in the whole process of trying to save it, they're inadvertently killing that damn animal. So put them to sleep with the nebulizer, you can work on it safely. But today, I want to show you, now just administering an antibiotic, giving a snake a shot, especially a venomous snake, we really don't need to put them to sleep. I mean... It's not that big of a process. It's a quick, short, and sweet thing to put an antibiotic into a venomous snake. But I have a process. I call it the squeeze box process. And it's very simple. It's, it's very fast. It's safe for the animal. It's less stress on the animal. It's less stress on me. I'm not putting my hands on them a whole bunch. I'm not getting my hands nowhere near the bitey end. I don't want to get that fang in me. That's the big, most important part of this. So I use this process that I kind of come up with. Now, now mind you, I've got several boxes of this size to suit the size of the animal. A really big animal, say like a, one of my basiliscus or one of my large king cobras or one of my big bushmasters, that stuff goes into a different tub that's designed as a squeeze box. Now, say like this animal, this is the animal in question right now that I'm working on. Now, what I'll do is I'll gently pull him out of here. Well, first of all, let me grab a 
syringe here just to show how we can do this. Okay, now just gently work the tail out. Then I'll squeeze that in there so he's not coming back up on me. He can't bite me through this tub, even though he could slip a fang through here, but I'm staying out of the way of that, okay? Now, I'm down here on the side where I can safely take my injectable, give the snake his injection. He's still inside. He might feel a little pinprick, but I'm safe. He's safe. Low stress situation. The animal gets his antibiotic. You let him crawl right back in. Maybe give him a little tap. You get him back in there. And there you go. It's done. It's quick. It's short. It's sweet. The animal's got what he needs. I got what I need. I still got all my fingers. I'm not in an emergency room. I'm not yelling at my wife, honey, grab the antivenom, and we got to get to the hospital. So, <laughs> I've been doing this 35 years, and my techniques work well for me. I'm hoping that I can share some knowledge with some of these new younger guys, and anybody who's thinking about getting in this, this field of work. I mean, for me, this isn't just, I'm not just some guy to keep snakes. I mean, we have a professional facility. We're working on a large facility to open, that will be open to the public, the new Serpentarium. I mean, this is a passion of mine that I love, and this is how I make my money. This is how I make a living with my animals. But let me tell you, free handling stuff and, and doing all them crazy things to just make sure that the animal is healthy. It's, it's not smart. Think it through. I mean, if, if you're trying to save your animal, get with somebody who knows how to do this. Learn from somebody who has years of experience. I mean, I believe in doing everything I can for the animal to keep it healthy and save its life, but don't put yourself in harm's way and create a dangerous situation for yourself or others to administer an antibiotic, to give a snake medical attention. Don't, it's, it's not worth your life. I mean, necking an animal, giving it a shot is ridiculous when you can do it safely. Removing ticks and things off animals without <laughs> anesthetizing them, putting them to sleep is crazy. Do it the right way. Let's keep this safe. That's the main goal of keeping venomous animals. Let's keep it safe. Let's keep it legal. Because I'm going to tell you something. If there is another couple bites, don't think that they're not going to take this away from us. They're not going to come in and say, well, we have gave them a chance. They're going to remove all of our rights. And they can do it. They can take our rights away from us. This isn't a right for us to keep venomous snakes and work with them and have a career in them. It's a privilege. Anything in this country is a privilege. If you think this country is free, you're wrong. It's a privilege to drive a car. It's a privilege to go fishing. you got to buy a license. So let's not give our government a reason to take away what we love. Let's do things correct. Let's do things the right way. Let's do things the safe way for ourselves and for the general public. But just a quick video today, guys, to show you how I handle snakes to do administration of antibiotics, of whatever needs to be done for, for medical attention on a snake. It can be done safely without having to put yourself in harm's way. Invest in a nebulizer. Make yourself a nice little area for it where you can put a snake to sleep and work on it safely. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff. I've just been really busy working on the new snake houses or working on a new building. Um, but we're going to start doing videos pretty regular now. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. Comment. If you guys want to see something, shout at me. Give me a comment and, and, and I'll see if I can come up with an idea for a video. Or, or I mean, I'm going to be doing a lot with a lot more animals. I'm going to do a safe handling video. How I move my big monster snakes around. Some snakes are so large. You have to put your hands on them. There's no way around it. Like my basiliscus, some of my bigger rattlesnakes and things. But there's a way to do it and do it safely. So get back with us. Like, subscribe, and 
Keep following Gun Central. We got more coming for y'all. Everybody have a good day. Thank you.